Hello everyone. So today we will discuss the rationale for choosing a vasoactive agent or cardioactive agent. What do we mean by that? That means, for example, patient is having shock. The blood pressure is low. Now we have to increase the blood pressure. We have to increase the organ perfusion of that patient. So how to do that? So why I have written this cardiovascular system? It is very very important. So you can remember our agents. So do not have to remember like beta one, beta two, alpha one, alpha two, beta one more than alpha one, beta two more than alpha two. Is very confusing. So we'll divide our vasoactive agents according to the clinical scenario of the patient. Right? How? For example, in the cardiovascular system we have beta one receptor. So what did beta one receptor will do? To increase the contractility and it will increase the heart rate. So this is called ionotropic effect or ionotropic gene. And this is called chronotropic. In the vascular system, we have two things. So this is alpha 1 and we have beta 2. So the alpha 1 will do vasoconstriction and the beta 2 will do vasodilatation. Right. These are the clinical manifestations of the drugs that we're gonna use. So using both of them will make a system. Right. So what is the system? So number one will be pure vasopressors. That means they only do vasoconstriction. We have phenylephrine. Also, we have vasopressin. It acts through V1 and V2 receptor for separate receptors, but these are pure vasopressors, right? They do not have any activity whatsoever on the heart. Then second is enoconstrictors, means the pure vasopressors are alpha 1 agonist. Eno is beta 1 and alpha 1 and we have norepinephrine. epinephrine and dopamine. So what they will do is they will make the heart beat faster and harder and they will clamp the blood vessels like so these are the ionoconstrictors. Number three is ionodilators. They have a beta 1 axon here and they have a beta 2 axon here. So they will make the heart contract faster and harder at the same time, they will dilate the peripheral blood vessels, right? So, we have here dabutamine, milrinone. We have another drug that acts to a separate mechanism that is levosimendan. We will discuss in detail regarding now next uh, discussion. Number four is pure vasodilators so only beta 2 they will only dilate the blood vessel which in shock do not require but in hypertensive emergency in urgency that will be required and they are gtn sodium nitroposide nicodipine all these drugs right? and they are helpful not in shock but in hypertensive urgency or emergency so this is how we have developed a system we have a pure vasopressor, we have ionoconstrictor, we have ionodilators, we have pure vasodilators. So, use is pure vasopressor used in spinal shock after spinal anesthesia, can be used in also anaphylactic shock if there is no uh, systemic problem. So, Ionoconstrictors are mainly used in vasodilatory states, septic shock, also in cardiogenic shock, right. Ionodilators are used mainly in cardiogenic shock. And these are used in hypertensive 
emergency right so in the next class we will discuss in detail regarding all these agents in a very clinical fashion not too complicated thank you very much